Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's me. We're on a cruise. We just, um, well, we've been at Cozumel all day. And uh, I figured I'd shoot this video to show you guys <clears throat> a review of the cruises. We did a Carnival cruise. That's Carnival Freedom across from us. We're actually, the boat we're on, it's called Carnival Vista. It's one of the newer ships. So I did a, took a quick time out of my vacation. I've been doing videos all year, so I deserve a vacation. <laughs> Well, it's actually my daughter's second birthday, so he bought her on a cruise for a second birthday. So for this video, I'm just going to do a quick video on how what to bring on a cruise. Because cruising can be confusing for a lot of people, uh, especially first-time cruisers. Um, so I have a, a quick video to show you guys what to, what, to, uh, what to bring on a cruise that's not in a cruise guide. They normally email you. A guide and what to bring on a cruise but these are things that was not in the guide and my wife has done a bunch of cruises this is my third cruise my second carnival cruise I did a first cruise with Royal Caribbean and um, by now I'm kind of I guess seasoned in what to bring so I forgot one thing I'm gonna go inside and get it real quick so the thing I forgot was actually in in here this is a black bag that's they decorated a room for my daughter's birthday. We actually did an excursion and just came back. And uh, little Amelia is sleeping, y'all. She's out cold. We've been doing this for about five days. We have two more days left on this cruise. And this is a Caribbean cruise. So, I'm going to put that in a pile. So, this is the essential of cruising, right? The things you want to bring in a cruise. If your cruise is longer than five days, there's certain cruises. Uh, Co-worker Mines did a cruise that was like, I think three or four days at sea out of New York to the Bahamas and then back again. On something like that, you might not want to pack as many things as this because you're on a boat a lot of the times. And you can wear what you wear on a boat every day, basically the same thing every day. But if you're doing excursions and you have plans on your five plus day cruise, these are things you're gonna to wanna to bring. First things first, I'm gonna start with in-cabin stuff. Um, in-cabin stuff is an extension cord reason is an extension cord is that usually in a ship there's one outlet for the whole cabin and if you do we did a balcony cabin which is a little bit more expensive than an indoor cabin or a non-window cabin the extension cord I'm gonna just bring this in real quick to show you guys how this works because we only have the one outlet is right there it's uh, really messy in here guys so this is how it is after a couple of days when you're on a cruise ship so it's just one outlet for the whole cabin. It's just these two ports there. An extension cord allows you to charge your phone if you're on the bed as well as if you, yesterday I cut my hair and I had to be in the bathroom. It also extends into the bathroom. And there I'm waking my daughter up. I shouldn't really be waking her up. Also, if you're gonna bring an extension cord, I recommend a charger if you wanna pack light one of these things they sell these on eBay or on Amazon where it's three prongs you have one for an iPhone or Apple product iPad you have one for a Samsung Android product there it's a USB uh, mini micro whatever and then the old iPhone port iPhone 1 port there so having this actually this guy allows us to just have one charger for everything we are walking with we have a couple of iPads an iPad for my daughter, I have a Samsung S phone, and we, I have an iPad mini as well, and that's Amelia waking up. Amelia, daddy's shooting a video, okay? Daddy has to go back outside. So, daddy's going to put you in the bed. Scoot in right there. Mommy's in the shower, okay? You want to come out with daddy and shoot the video? Or are you going to go back to sleep? You going to stay inside? Okay, go back to sleep, baby. So, back out here. Now, how do you recommend into the products and she is crying baby you could come out here with daddy okay don't cry highly recommend if you're gonna do a sunscreen bug repellent thing because you're in a caribbean this avon skin so soft bug guard is a hybrid of sunscreen spf 30 there it might be higher or sps 50 or 40 as well as a bug repellent and it also moisturizes with aloe highly recommend this this at the Avon store, you can buy this online, it's about $6 for 8 ounces and it has refill balls, it comes in different sizes, highly recommend that. Highly recommend you bring one of these cups, 
Because a lot of the things on board, like coffee, comes in these tiny cups. So if you drink a lot of coffee and you want something a bit more than this, like if you're like me, highly recommend one of these hot cold cups. It keeps your beverages hot. If it's uh, coffee or tea, or it keeps your um, beverages cold. If you have like a smoothie or if you, if you go to the bar and buy like a pina colada, I recommend that. Now I bought on this ship two sets of sunglasses and this is for my excursions. These could get wet. They're kind of waterproof. Um, I only paid like six dollars for these. They're uh, Foster Grant from Walgreens and these are also Foster Grant. So these are my sort of my dressy sunglasses and these are my excursion when we do like things sunglasses there. So I bought two pairs because you will lose these. They will get broken or lost whatever. So uh, also bought a couple of watches. I bought uh, my Citizen Nighthawk. Um, sorry, my Citizen uh, Panda, as well as my Casio watch. And this watch is very, very important. If you go on a cruise, just bring a watch, just because you're gonna need the two time zones. So the, sh the cruise ship usually carries the time zone of the port, which our port was Miami. That cruise ship over there, Carnival Freedom was out of Galveston so that was an hour behind on Miami time so we've been docking a lot of docks actually the last two docks Grand Cayman and this Cozumel we're in Cozumel right now when we do the excursions everyone on that board follows their ship time which is an hour behind our time <coughs> our time was was New York Miami time and so it's 455 and in Cozumel right now it's 355 and I believe that ship is 255 that's an hour behind Cozumel time. So that's a 2.55, um, 3.55 Cozumel time and 4.55 ship time. So it's very important to follow your ship time and it's very important to have ship time on your watch that you're wearing. So uh, when I go at two excursions, I usually wear this watch for my, um, so I know the ship time as well as the local time. So it has the two time zones. That's a Chicago, but it's just the way I have it set up. So it's very important to have a watch with two time zones. They also have a watch because there's elegant nights. You will need to dress up for dinner, and um, that means I have my shoes here. That means dress shoes for dinner right here, as well as elegant watch. Um, also, I have a watch, an extra watch I bought for a, like a diver's watch. It's my Seiko 5 with the uh, sapphire crystal there. I haven't really worn this watch because, I don't know, I just didn't have time to wear it. Um, also, I re highly recommend a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or 8 Edge phone because these phones are very waterproof. I've done snorkeling with my phone, swimming a couple of times with my phone, and it's highly waterproof. You don't even need this case on there, so that's kind of really cool as well. We have two types of bags here that you would want to bring on a cruise, which is um, a mesh bag for beach towels and stuff. This is a really big bag. It's a beach bag, so it's a mesh breathable bag. And I have my outdoor research dry bag. So this keeps everything inside this bag dry. It's a dry bag, but it doesn't look like a dry bag. It's just a nylon material that's coated with a waterproof coating. And it has a roll top here. Also, if you're doing rafting or anything um, on the river or water, Carabina clips help a lot. These are really cheap, like 50 cents. And they don't have to be an official climbing, rock climbing carabine. This could be just a really cheap one. It clips like really good things like hats to your pack. And these will blow away really quick. Um, before I even get into that, waterproof hats, sun hats, highly recommended in a cruise. They also sell these in a ship. So if you don't have time to pack these, you could buy these in a ship. They will be a little bit more expensive. So you have a waterproof uh, bag here, just show you guys. What Outdoor Research still sells these, but there are newer versions in, a, I think, a blue and a black color there. So these are about $70 now. I paid $50 for this one. So they're about $70 to $100, depending on how you buy them. Highly recommend these if you get wet. They keep your beach towel dry. Um, my wife has her purse, pocketbook in there. It keeps everything in there dry on the excursions. Because once you go out there, guys, you're going to get wet. And it's going to be on a beach, so you want to keep everything dry. So I highly recommend that. Um, what else do we have here? A hat. I have a Ziploc bag. Bring them. Bring a bunch of these Ziplocs for your um, for your wallet and stuff. So if you want to do excursions and keep your wallet dry in your pocket. <coughs> and what I do with this, I put this in my swimming trunks, and I'm gonna get right into that. 
So before we get into that, different footwear. I have my my dress night footwear for dinner. Waterproof, highly recommend these waterproof. Water um, water shoes because they, you can wear these in a beach without socks and they drain right out the holes right there. And these are Adidas Terex Voyager Climate Cool shoes. Uh, Nike, I think, makes some, makes their own water shoes. You got water shoes anywhere, but I like these ones because you can walk in them. They're very comfortable. They also have a, a thread, a traction in the sole, so they're not slippery when you walk when they're wet. <coughs> and they also dry really quick. Flip-flops, I highly recommend these Haviano flip-flops because they're not your standard flip-flops. In a previous video I showed you guys, um, the beauty of these is that they are sort of a rubber so they don't even soak in water, they just, water just runs right off of them. I'm actually wearing, I bought two pairs, guys. I bought one for the ship and one for on land, on the beach. There, so I highly recommend these uh, flip-flops, Haviana Power. They're Haviana Power flip-flops. <coughs> also got comfortable walking shoes, because sometimes you do excursions, you're doing a lot of walking. And these Nike Vapor Max, they're really, really cool. I should take a picture right there of my Vapor Max. The Porta Cozumel. Highly recommend these. They're a little pricey, but just get comfortable walking shoes where you're not going to get wet, but you just want walking shoes for even walking around the ship. Because cruise ships, there's a lot of walking back and forth, doing different activities on the ship itself. We just need water shoes, you know, um, regular walking shoes that could get, don't need to get wet, but dry shoes. So that's that. Now for the for men's, highly recommend these very, very lightweight Nike dry fit. Um, Nike running t-shirts. They're super, I can literally roll this on and put it in my pocket. It's really lightweight. Uh, I got a couple of them. These are like $20 online. So I got a couple of these Nike dry fits. They're dry fits, so that means they get wet. They dry on your skin right away. They don't stay wet. And it's all mesh, so really nice. Really cool as well when you wear these. They don't get, they don't keep you hot. I have uh, two types of swimming trunks. Uh, my excursion trunks for doing excursions on shore. Zippered pockets are a must. Whatever you get, I have Columbia Snake River shorts. These are Snake River ones, the original Snake Rivers. They have the zipper cargo pocket as well as zipper back pocket there. And front pockets and a mesh, I'm uh, sorry, Velcro pocket there. And everything's mesh inside. So I wear these without underwear on shore when I do excursions. So these I could get wet. They dry really quick. They're really lightweight when you pack them. Because when you do a cruise, you pack on a lot of things. So these are really, really lightweight when you pack them. Snake Rivers, I think they call these the Eagle Rivers now, or Eagle something. But Columbia makes them. They're also SPF. They also have SPF in them. And I'm a size small. These are 11 uh, inseam. Uh, in but they also have the SPF, I think 20 or 30 on these um, shorts. So I don't need to wear sunscreen on these. Um, on my my legs, my upper legs when I wear these. I also have swimming trunks for the ship as well when I'm swimming on board. And these have a zipper pocket. And so what these are gonna do is keep your room card. Cause when you're swimming, you need to carry around, when you leave your cabin, you need to carry around one of these room cards all the time. And they have a zippered pocket where you can put this in and you don't lose it. It's a really cool. And the zipper pocket is, as you'll see, is a mesh pocket. It's a mesh pocket in there, so. So, you know, it's not gonna stay wet when you come out of the pool, but it, it's zippered, so it keeps your stuff safe. It's not gonna float out of your pocket. Zippered pockets and swimming trunks is a big thing for me. And these are Nautica shorts. I don't even know what names these are, but what name this type of short is, but I bought it a couple, um, I think it's just the Nautica logo shorts. But you can buy just any swimming trunks with zippered pockets. <clears throat> Zipper pockets are a must. Because once you get in the pool, you put it in a regular pocket, it's going to come right out of your pocket. And that's it, guys. Get your Nike Dry Fit, the t-shirts. Highly recommend these. Sorry. Over regular t-shirts, highly recommend those. Um, over like cotton t-shirts. These are like uh, nylon polyester. They dry really quick. And for the men, that's all you really need on the, for the daytime because it's really hot. And right now I'm wearing uh, dock dockers. Um, these are also waterproof shorts with, I think a, they have a mesh pocket. So I, these could get wet. They're sort of a cotton, but they're waterproof cotton as well. <coughs> and I'm wearing another Nike dry fit shirt. You can see there, it's a Yale University 
It's one of my alma maters. So it's a Yale University Nike dry fit shirt. And and that's it guys. Um important stuff to pack for a cruise as well. And these are the cups to give in a cruise ship. They're really tiny, but if you drink a lot of coffee or want beverages, get one of those um bigger cups and now that'll do you well. That's it guys, so enjoy.